In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to download and install Complementary Unbound for Minecraft 1.20.6, some of the most beautiful shaders you will ever see. And something pretty cool about these shaders is that they make every ore shine, so whenever you go mining, you will be able to see even in the dark. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. The first step to download and install Complementary Shaders for Minecraft 1.20.6 is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install this. I assume you just wanna follow along the video, however, so once you click on that second link, scroll down to step one and click on download. Once you click on download, you will be over here in the files page for complementary shaders. Scroll down until you see 1.20.6, which is the most recent one in here, and click on these little three dots, and then just click download file. After five seconds, your download will begin for complementary unbound. It will be a zip file like this. And now let's go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop. While complementary unbound downloads, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is hosted online, which means that you don't have to port forward your IP address or put your computer at risk, then Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. They have locations all around the world, which means that wherever you are located, you will have a good connection to your server. They also offer over 200 mod packs to install on this server with just one click, and you could get all of this done in less than 5 minutes with 25% off if you use the first link in the description. Again, use that first link in the description for 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting, and now let's keep going with the tutorial. Like I was saying earlier, after we download it complementary inbound, you want to drag and drop it into your desktop, either within your recent download history in your browser or in your downloads folder in your computer. Once we have this shape, Shaders. If you already have some type of shader loader, like maybe you have Iris or Optifine, you could just go ahead and drag and drop these shaders into your shaders folder, and that's it. You are done with this video, you could click out now. But I'm assuming most of you don't have any type of shader loader. A shader loader will allow you to load the shaders into the game because regular Minecraft doesn't have a shader loader. So for this video, we're going to download Iris. Now, I usually like using Optifine, however, Optifine is not ready or hasn't been made or updated for Minecraft 1.20.6, so we will use Iris instead. Iris is still pretty good. But sometimes I just like using Optifine, okay? Because I'm an old school guy. But let's go ahead and use Iris, which is great. Click on that third link in the description. This is our written guide on how to download and install Iris. Feel free to read through the guide and stuff. But if you just want to follow along the video, let's scroll down to step one and click download Iris here. That will redirect you to the Iris page. Click download now and then click download universal jar and that'll begin the download for the installer of Iris. And just like we did with the complementary unbound, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop. Now, as you can see, this is a jar file and I want you to keep that in mind because that is pretty important for the next step. The next step requires you to close your Minecraft. Okay, so if you have your Minecraft launcher open, close your Minecraft launcher and also close your Minecraft game. Completely close the game and the launcher. Now, like I was saying earlier, Iris, it's a jar file. Okay, and pretty much any mod that you download for Minecraft and that includes shader loaders, they will be jar files. For the next step, we have to double click this jar file so just go ahead and double click it however the reason I'm letting you know this is a jar file is because this file won't open if you don't have Java installed, okay? If you are confused about what I'm talking about, you need Java 21 in order for Iris to open. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the programming language that will allow you to open this type of files. Now, here's the thing. Most computers don't come with Java installed. And if you have installed Java manually for your computer, chances are that you have an outdated Java. See, like for the past, you only needed Java 17. But after Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, you now need Java 21 in order for you to open any type of jar files. So with that said, guys, I'm going to leave this guide in the description. This is a guide on how to download and install Java 21 for those of you that can't get the jar file to open. OK, with this Java, you will be able to open the jar file and then you'll be able to install Iris and then launch your Minecraft game without having any crash or getting that Java error code number one or Java error code number negative one. Just install Java 21. OK, after you use that guide in the description to install Java 21, you might have to head over to other remote programs and get rid of your older Java. So if you have like Java 17, Java 8, Java 7, you might have to get rid of them in order for the installer to work. I always recommend that you make a backup or a copy of the Java's before you get rid of them. But yeah, I hope that was clear and you were able to understand that you need Java 21 for this to work. Once you got it to open though, just click install, okay? You should have 1.20.6 selected. If not, just look for it, but then go ahead and select it and click install. And as you can see, it's quite fast, the process of installing Iris. Let's go ahead and close it. And now we could even delete the Iris installer. We don't need anything else. We are ready to add the shaders into the game. In order for us to add the shaders, we're going to press the window key and the R key at the same time. So go ahead and press the window key on your keyboard and the R key. That is going to open the run command. And in here, you're going to type percentage app data or app data percentage. OK, just like that. Look at that. I'm going to leave it there on the screen so you guys could see it. And then hit OK. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it. And now we're going to double click on the .minecraft folder, which should be right on the top. With this folder open, you will see a lot of other files, a lot of other folders. Don't get confused. You are now looking for a specific folder called shader packs. OK, as you can see, my shader packs folder is right here and I have a bunch of shaders in there. However, 
there is a chance that you don't have a shader packs folder. Like, like for example, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. I took mine out of here. So what do you do if you don't have a shader packs folder? It's super simple. All you have to do is right click, click new, type folder, and then just name it shader packs, just like that. So yeah, you could create the shader packs yourself if you don't have a shader packs folder when you head over to the dot Minecraft folder. With the shader packs folder created, go ahead and open it. And now just drag and drop complementary unbound. Now you have complementary unbound in that shader packs folder. And now you're going to launch your Minecraft launcher. Now, if you follow every step up to this moment, when you open your Minecraft launcher, you should see Iris and Sodium selected here automatically. As you can see, Iris and Sodium for 1.20.6, it's right here. However, if you don't see Iris in there, just click on this arrow and look for it. If you still don't see it, head over to installations. Make sure that modded is selected because without modded, you won't see it. And if you still don't see Iris in here, click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like Apex hosting because Apex hosting will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And then where it says version, just look for Iris 1.20.6, which is right here for me, right on the top. Just look for the Iris Fabric Loader and then click Create, and that'll make an instance of Fabric. However, once you located Fabric, just go ahead and click on Play. Click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft and click Play again, and let's wait for the game to load. With our game open, let's go ahead and launch a world. You could launch a single player or a multiplayer world because shaders will work for both offline and online play. Again, if you need a server, remember you could use that first link in the description with Apex Hosting for 25% off. Now that the game loaded, let's go ahead and add our shaders. As you can see, we are here in the world. Let's go ahead and press Escape, okay? So press Escape on your keyboard head over to options right here you will see the options menu in there click on video settings and now here you should see that this menu looks a little bit different don't worry just head over to shader packs and you will see your complementary unbound in there you can now click on that make sure that the shaders are enabled and now just click apply and wait for your complementary unbound to load these are one of my favorite shaders again they make every ore shine as you saw in the intro of this video and it's just super fun to use because once you're out in the surface it also looks great it looks really really good so as you can see we have back into the game our game looks really really pretty now since we're using iris okay since we installed iris as our shader loader you can always just press the letter k and you could take your shaders off immediately by just pressing the letter K on your keyboard. If you press it again, the shaders will load. Just give it a couple seconds and the shaders will load back up. And if also you press the letter O on your keyboard, you will get the shaders menu in here. You will also see that you have the open shader pack folder option down here. If you ever want to go back to that folder where we added our complementary inbound and maybe you want to add new shaders and also you have shader pack settings in here, or you can play around with the graphic settings and the visuals of your shaders. But that is pretty much how to down and install complementary inbound 1.20.6. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye bye.